Hello and welcome to another episode of the best stocks you can buy, this time for August 2024. Today we are talking about Disney, we will be analyzing its price movements, fundamental aspects, calculating its fair value and at last deciding whether it's a good stock to buy right now. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and let's dive in. Before we get into Disney, a quick thank you to XTB for supporting this video. XTB is a broker platform with 0% commissions for buying stocks and ETFs, with a minimum transaction value of only 10 euros, where you can invest being sure that your money is safe. XTB is my personal choice for creating investment portfolios for both stocks and ETFs. And in this video, I will also show you how I buy my stocks each month in their innovative platform. Last month, we analyzed and bought Starbucks, which saw an appreciation of over 20% in just one month. It was a fantastic opportunity. Let me know in the comments if you took advantage of that as well. Now, let's find out if Disney has similar potential. Disney, one of the world's most iconic companies and ranked among the top 100 stocks by market cap, is familiar to everyone. However, over the past three years, its stock price has been in decline, mainly due to heavy losses from its streaming platform Disney+, Plus, facing fierce competition from peers like Netflix and Hulu. On the bright side, Disney's theme parks remain a reliable source source of revenue, and the company is wisely increasing investment in this area. Just last month, Disney struck a deal with the Orlando government to build a new theme park, a very positive development in my opinion. Additionally, Disney has some major upcoming releases from its Marvel, Star Wars and Avatar franchises, which have historically generated billions in profits. Considering these strong fundamentals, Disney might be a solid buy before the stock price recovers. But first, let's check the technical analysis and calculate its fair value. Looking at the TradingView daily chart, we can observe that over the last 40 years, Disney's stock price has shown a consistent upward trend. The yellow line here represents the 600 period smoothed moving average, an indicator I like to use to evaluate a stock stability. Currently, the price sits just below this line which is a positive indicator that it's an opportunity to buy this stock at a discount. Historically, Disney stock has only dipped below this baseline during major crises like in 2001, 2009 and 2020 during the peak of the Covid pandemic, but each time it quickly bounced back to new highs. Right now, Disney is about 55% below its all-time high, 19% below the smoothed moving average and near a strong support zone. And so, after this technical analysis, we have already established that Disney is a stable stock with growth potential. But let's confirm this by calculating its fair value through some financial models. First, I like to use the discounted cash flow or DCF analysis which banks typically use to calculate a company's fair value while discounting future cash flows back to the present. Although Finbox is currently down, I have the necessary data on my fair value calculation sheet, which you can access by joining the investing tier of my Patreon. To know more about it, check the first comment down below. And so, we can see that with the growth exit formula, Disney has a fair value of $130 with the EBITDA exit multiple $116 and then with the revenue exit formula a fair price of $120, which are great upsides. Then, by checking the forecasts from professional investors using the premium Simply Wall Street website, we can conclude that Disney is around 29% undervalued, which is very good to know. Also, by scrolling to the stock overview, we can see that its earnings are forecast to grow by 21.57%, which is another strong point for Disney. Now, by using another valuation method from the MarketBeat website, we can see that here the fair value of this stock has a 30% upside, 
being a healthy company. To get to this price target of $118, this website also uses different calculation methods to give us the best forecast possible. Then, on the alpha spread analysis, the base case tells us that the Disney price stock is 30% undervalued, being the best case a fair price of $191 and the worst one a fair value of $92. And finally, using another premium website, Value Investing, its forecasts tell us this stock can have an appreciation of 37%. So, when putting all the fair values from these 7 different financial analyses together, the Disney's fair value is around $124.82. And since its current price at the moment I am recording this video is around $91, it gives us an average of 37% potential appreciation. Moreover, this is a stock that historically is always reaching new all-time highs. And so, if that happens again in the long term, you can see an increase of above 120% on your investments in this stock which is well above the market average. Apart from this, we need to also add the dividends that the Disney company pays, with a value of 1% annually. And so, this will be the stock I will buy one more time for my personal portfolio for this month. And so, let's go to my XStation 5 account. For those unfamiliar, XStation 5 is the platform you get when you sign up with XTB, which allows you to buy stocks with no commissions. You can use the link in the description to create your account. In XStation 5, simply look up Disney in the market watch and choose the stock option, not the CFD, as we want to own actual shares for the long term. Then I will drag it to my chart to check out the price movements. Just like TradingView, you can use XStation 5 for technical analysis. Now I will right click on the chart select new order and buy one share. You can also buy fractional shares if you have a smaller budget. For example, with just 10 euros you can buy about 0.12 shares of Disney. Now I will click on the buy option, confirm the order and it's done. And that's it. This concludes the video on the top stock for August. I hope you enjoyed it, that you learned something new and if you have ideas for stocks for the next month, feel free to comment them down below. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. Thank you and bye bye.